almost a thousand people here now, maybe more. Dwight, we haven't been in the same space since the G20. And we're in the same condition as we were in yeah, the we G20. Are. Yeah, we are. It's actually, <laughs> and it's raining again like it did at the G20. Did it rain at the G20? Yeah. I don't remember. It was, was pouring rain. We got, that, we got that weed from uh, the Emory crowd that, that they gave you, those two joints, and that put me to sleep. I don't remember a lot at the G20. Well, that's where I bought those t-shirts. Yeah, that's right. I yeah. was actually going to wear my t-shirt. Right? Yeah. You bought one too? No, someone gave me one. Yeah. Actually, I, I saw the uh, Fuck the G20 t-shirt, yeah. and uh, I thought it was like the coolest thing since sliced bread at the time. And uh, I told the guy that was wearing it, I uh, kept bugging him, where did you get the shirt? And the guy just pulled it off his back and gave it to me. So, so this, that was pretty cool. We had hail here already. We're all soaking wet, and it's like minus 20, and there's almost a thousand people here. Dedicated. There were a couple cops in the crowd harassing uh, people trying to pitch tents. Oh, come that was on. Pretty funny. I thought, was, uh, they, they're hiding way in the background. We no, can't they work on no, them they today. They actually were. Oh, yeah. 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 They were in the crowd. For putting tents up? Yeah, they, if, uh, they get, if you get caught putting up a tent on Parliament Hill, uh, it's a $90 fine. $90. So I'm going to keep that in mind. Just What's the fine today. if you don't like put your fire out and, and hide your poop? What? <laughs> I didn't catch that. I didn't catch that. What's the fine if you don't cover your fire and hide your poop, your droppings? I don't know. I don't know. You smoked a good one, didn't you? <laughs> <laughs> oh, so hard news, you're busy on your, your new radio show with your partner? Yeah. Where is that asshole? He didn't come down? No, Jimmy's actually uh, broadcasting live. I've called into my own show, JD Whenever, at jdwhenever.com. Shameless plug, shameless plug. What was the website again? Uh, jdwhenever.com. Yeah. Been running for a couple months now, and uh, does anybody listen? A few people. A few people listen. <laughs> it was we. It wasn't even planned. It was spur of the moment. Hey, let's just start a radio show. So, what do you think about the city today giving thirty thousand dollars to the Liftoff Festival as a loan because they sort of needed thirty thousand dollars and wanted thirty thousand dollars? The city gave them thirty thousand dollars. They gave them a thirty thousand dollar loan. Uh. Interest free till July, 2% interest after, but they can't pay for it. I think uh, there's a lot more people in our city that are losing their jobs and the economy's taking a shit and we're not going to have the money to spend any money come lift off anyhow. So I just think, I think it's just a money pit now, really. Now, it's my opinion. Your buddy Rodney, I still think he's a big dork, but. His dad, Andre, went on the site today, Councillor Andre Rive, and posted about liftoff. So I don't care what anybody says, Andre's my guy and Pat Finnerty can roast wherever Pat Finnerty goes. Okay then. <laughs> <laughs> All right. No comment. Have fun.